County. It is a hot button issue across the country, and tonight South Carolina's governor says the Confederate battle flag right in front of the Capitol building will come down. This comes after nine people were shot and killed last week at an African American church. Governor Nikki Haley says the flag is an important part of the state's history, but it does not represent the state's future. We respect freedom of expression, and that for those who wish to show their respect for the flag on their private property, no one will stand in your way. But the State House is different, and the events of this past week call upon us to look at this in a different way. Walmart also says tonight it will stop selling Confederate flag merchandise. The controversy over the Confederate flag has been going on for years. Here in Colorado, just two months ago, a group of high school students was criticized for posing with it for prom pictures. KRDO News Channel 13's Emily Allen spoke to those who defend the flag in Southern Colorado and those against it. For some, it's thread, so a symbol of hate. But for others, it stitches together a part of history. The Confederate flags uh, are not a racist flag, but are more a, a flag of, of freedom and liberty. Buck Duggar proudly wears the Confederate flag. He's part of the Sons of Confederate Veterans, a group that commemorates Southern soldiers in the Civil War, like his great great grandfather. He was a farmer from the uh, northeastern part of Georgia. His group honors their memories at memorials all over Colorado. He says racists misuse the flag, including the man accused of killing nine African Americans in South Carolina. He is a sorely misguided young man, just like the KKK, skinheads, neo Nazis, those kind of guys that have stolen our treasured emblems, desecrated them, and turned them into something that everyone hates, including us. For some Americans, this isn't a symbol of freedom. It's a symbol of racism. I think to many others, it represents something a lot deeper and darker than that. Mm -hmm. And that's what it represents to me. Kinu Matanga is a college student visiting from the South. He says the flag in Charleston should be taken down. The Confederacy stood for the freedoms of the people, but those freedoms included the freedom to own slaves and the freedom to perpetuate the segregation and, you know, abuse of human rights. So I don't think it should be. So as this flag continues to fly, so will controversy around it. In Colorado Springs, Emily Allen Cardio, News Channel 13. And it is ultimately up to the South Carolina legislature to remove the flag. The debate is ramping up in Mississippi, though, tonight. The speaker of the legislature is calling for that state's flag to be changed. A portion of it features the Confederate flag. And a lot of you are sounding off on our Facebook page about the debate over the Confederate flag. John Miller writes, this is truly sad when we give up our freedom and give in to political correctness. This should be up to the people of that state. Put it to a vote. Alex Guido says, for what it represents, it should be taken down. Let's take steps forward. And Linda Vesco posted, this happened years ago, but it was important then and not now. But I still say let the flag fly. These people were our great grandparents who believed in something. Times have changed, but the heartstrings still sting. You can join the conversation on our Facebook page. We are Cardio News Channel 13. More on